So hello and welcome back to my channel if you do not know. My name is Ollie and today's video we are doing my February favourites. February hashtag being my favourite month. You know what this video is by now is where I just sit and talk about everything that I've loved the month before, recommend some things to you for you guys to try, enjoy, whatnot. So let's just jump straight in to the video. The first thing is actually something what I'm wearing and it's this giant hoodie and on the back it's like that. Can you see that? Yeah. This is the, is it Super Bowl? Is it the Super Bowl? No, it's the Giants. NFL, American football, I think. I'm not too sure. I think this is the New York Giants. If any of you are American football fans or American sport fans, you're gonna hate me right now. However, I saw it and I really liked it and it's like the official branding of NFL Giants, which again, I don't know what it is. But either way, it's this hoodie and it's basically like just a really comfy hoodie. I've been living in it really, really affordable. Can't remember where I got it from now. Mind like, I've actually got some t-shirts as well from like the NFL merch and things and they're all really high quality, really good stuff and I'm not a football fan but can I enjoy wearing my clothes? It feels cool, so yeah. <laughs> Number two is this and this is the Primark Bronze Afterglow Self Tan Eraser. I got this for Christmas, I'm pretty sure it's like a little stocking filler and obviously I do fake tan, I use a Molly May fake tan which no tan will compare, let me tell you now. But this tan's really good and a lot of my viewers I know fake tan and like a lot of you, you love a good tanning moment but removing tan is something that I never did properly. I just used to like shower and like exfoliate kind of but now I use this and it just like comes off. I think it also smells like strawberry. Um, I don't know if that's the actual flavour. Yeah, it doesn't actually have a flavour, but it smells like strawberry watermelon kind of vibe and it's really good. I just shower face, do a few pumps onto like an exfoliating mitt and just tan off and literally it comes off. So like every Wednesday night I'll take the tan off and on Thursday put a new layer on for the weekend and oof, it's so good. I think it's quite affordable. I think it was like two pounds or something like that, but it's really good. Highly recommend it. If you're a fake tanner and need something to remove it, really good, really affordable. Okay, the final physical thing, which you've probably seen all of my story and I'm probably sick of seeing now, is this. This is obviously Stephen Butler's book and if you don't know who Stephen Bowler is, I'm obsessed. He's one of the new dragons in Dragon's Den, but he also has a podcast, so put a diary of a CEO, the podcast, or something like that. But it's called Happy Sex Millionaire, and it's basically Stephen Bartlett's like kind of biography, but also not. It's kind of more like advice and tips and life and his story, but he kind of doesn't talk about him. It kind of his story and how you can apply it to you kind of thing. It's really good. Yeah, if you want to know how to be a happy sex millionaire, like Stephen Bartlett, this book's really good. It's full of like quotes and like, you know what I mean? It's like got story bit and it's got like quotes throughout it and stuff, and it's just really good. It was 19 chapters, and I'm chapter 10, so halfway, kind of halfway. But I've also got tickets to go and see Stephen Bartlett live, and I cannot wait. Okay, now moving on to inserted section. So we shimmy up. Okay, so I've got two TV series and a film and kind of an album, but you know. First one, Euphoria. Can we just, can we just, Euphoria? I am so behind on the trend of Euphoria. Like I only just finished season one the other day and obviously it came out last year, two years ago or something. I've only just seen it and we're currently on season two, but I think I'm on like episode four of season two. Purely for the fact that like, I just never seem to sit down and watch anything. I'm very, very behind on it, but I'm obsessed with it. My favorite character, I do love Rue, but I don't know if I love Zendaya or I love Rue. Not sure. But I love Fez. Oh my God, I love Fez. He's just like so adorable. And like, I just want to like give him a cuddle. Where I'm at right now, there's a character called Elliot, I think his name is. I currently really like him, but my best friend doesn't and she's ahead of me. So I don't know if something happens, but I currently love Elliot. Elliot, might change, don't know. Jacobs, is it Jacobs or Jacobs? I think it's Nate Jacobs. He's obviously a bad character, he's like, he's a bad guy. But he, whenever he's involved in something, I am intrigued, I'm more grip. He's got, I think he's got a very gripping character, but I'm like, ooh, like, ooh. We all have a bad boy, don't we? A bad boy though, don't we? Yeah, not a fat terrorist, though, Chris. Euphoria obsessed with, and the soundtrack to that, oh my gosh. The soundtrack to Euphoria probably makes up my entire playlist now that like, I am up. Obsessed. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Okay, moving on to another series which I'm obsessed with and again very behind is The Fall. Now this one is a British like crime serial killer kind of vibe and it's insane. It's Jamie Dornan as in like Christian Grey and Jamie Dornan beautiful man but and he plays like a serial killer in the fall and it's also what's she called um julian anderson julian anderson is that even a person the mum from sex education is her who is julian anderson julian lee anderson is an american actress oh. 
Gillian Anderson. Gillian Anderson is in it and she is phenomenal. I love her, her acting is impeccable. And the fall is just so good, it's so gripping. So it's really hard to be watching Euphoria or the fall like every night. I'm like, which one do I watch? So I end up watching Friends so I don't cheat on either one. So the fall, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's very like, not really me. I don't really love British crime things, but with Gillian Anderson and Jamie Dornan there, you're gonna love it. Like there's no reason not to love it. Do you know what I mean? Like I love it. Okay, and the final thing, which I am obsessed with right now, like mm, if it's not Euphoria soundtrack, it's this soundtrack. And this is, en I don't know how to say it, is it Encanto? Enchanto. I'm gonna assume it's Enchanto. Encanto. You know what it is, the Disney film where we all have magical powers and the house is alive and things like that. Watch that film the other night, obsessed with it. Obsessed with it. I I'm obsessed with the soundtrack more than I am the film, but equally amazing. The song that I love the most is the pressure that I'll tip, 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 tip you up. Uh, it's like my sister one. Give it to your sister, your sister is on the... Do you know what I mean? That one, pressure surface or strong pressure or something like that. But either way, I'm just obsessed with the whole vibe of that movie. Can't think of it. But it's a Disney one and it's so good. Disney just never misses. Like Disney, they just know. We don't talk about broom. No, no, no. Uh, but yeah, thank you very, very much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely, definitely recommend that book, The Happy Sex Millionaire book. Stephen Bartlett right now has me in a chokehold. No cap. Oh, with all that said, that leaves me nothing left to say for today's video. So I'm gonna leave that video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash a like button, subscribe to the channel down below so don't miss another video from me. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Thank you.